All right, folks, welcome back. And you'll notice something here in our sponsor slots. We've got real sponsors now. Uh, I went and looked at the mods and went, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? It works, you know? Uh, obviously, it doesn't. Re it's just a uh, decal replacer, but I think it looks better. Um, you know, Samsung, Carlsberg, replacing Vamoos. That one replacing Ishawa. Um, we've got a good amount of uh, stuff coming in here. Currently sixth in the championship, making those new part new parts, and uh, going to design yet another one after that. Um, I think we're going to work on a front wing as well. Our rear wing's starting to lag, but car repair is now complete. So that means one thing. That means that we can do that. Um, we can take those off. Throw that on there. Because we're not going to improve our brakes anymore during this season. Um, our contract from Prozel with Lara is going to come up. Our engine is going to be finished literally day of the race. Alright, we're going to re-sign Lara. Because, you know, I just I like the idea of having her. And uh, having her around for Revuelta. She's not exactly the best driver in the series, but she is one of the best. Um, so, yeah, glad that you... Decided to re-sign with us, Lara. And that she, uh... Decided that she wants to continue work running with us. Uh, we've got ten weeks left on our Design Center Level 3. I'm currently looking to upgrade soon the test track. Giving us a new uh, test track, giving us better engines. Um, it'll take 24 weeks to do that. Um, also we're going to be able to do this at some point. Uh, it can generate huge income, meaning one thing and one thing alone. That next season, we're golden. Tire selection, auto pick, auto pick. Wait, Vancouver. Vancouver is going to be clear. Ultras. Ultras are king here. Although, hold on. Yeah, let's do that. Part fitting. Uh, fit parts. Gonna keep that going. Your parts aren't that bad. Damn it, Lara. Um, so we're actually going to flip flop the engines, methinks. No. We're going to flip-flop the, uh... I can't make you happy, can I? I can't make either of them ha totally happy. Oh, well. We're gonna do that. Suspension's been put on Delara's car. I don't understand why she's mad with it. Uh, we're probably going to end up re-signing somebody. And eventually, hopefully, we'll get high, very high merit payments to work with. But right now, we're going to practice, which means you guys know what will happen. I'll see you guys for qualifying and for the race. Doodly. Why, hello there, folks. We are, uh, currently doing a crap ton of laps. Uh, because we are that awesome. And we are also currently, uh, running, running pretty fast here. We're running pretty good. Uh, we're working on super softs. 
and race trim, I've managed to get both drivers, I believe, to 98% on their setup uh, balance. Um, and, you know, hopefully that'll allow us to, uh, you know, set some good laps. We're 10th with Lara currently. So, hopefully... Hopefully we can get both of these to level 3 before the end of the thing. We should. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, and the fact that it's not going to be raining at all this weekend, woohoo, that's phenomenal. Now then, in terms of raw pacer, as far as raw pace is concerned, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing too, too good. Uh, and it's, it's really not you know, that promising, I want to say. Um, the improved gearbox is really helping at Requa. I think so is this is really good suspension. Um, considering we are on the harder compound and we've set our best times on that compound, we've also just ticked over to level 3 on both of those. And the fact that it's going to be dry means that no matter what strategy we use, we should be good to go. Um, I think next season is what we're really looking forward to with the car, uh, in general. Um, it's not, it, it's going to be really hard to go anywhere, uh, anywhere more promising than we've already been. Uh, so... There we go. We should finish up this lap. And out of gas. <laughs> we ran Re Revolta out of gas, and Lara is up to 11th. So we've got 5th, and ooh, nice! Triple excellence, that's a 98 or 99 percent balance. Absolutely phenomenal. Boom, 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 boom. Moving on to Quali. We're going to take the Ultras and Quali Trim. Again, we're going to take Ultras and Quali Trim. Car setup. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful setup. Uh, if we just go a little bit more towards top speed, I think... We should be good. We're also going to sim the session yet again. Uh, you know, just so that it's a little bit easier on us. Track grip is low currently. Here goes our drivers. Boom. Boom. Come on, girls. Go out. Get a good time in. They're out on their next quality laps. And nothing. 109s. I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe you guys get it. I don't get it. Doing horrible qualifying. Oh well. It's time in motorsports, guys. Obviously, are in the lead. We're going to take our Ultras and Race Trim set up for this. Ultras and Race Trim. Car setup wise, looks like we're back to using uh, we'll use that one. Um, confirm. Alrighty, and we will go on to attack and overtake mode right off the bat, and we will go to the race, where hopefully we do well, as we go to five red lights here in Vancouver for the Canadian Grand Prix, and away we go, 
horrifyingly bad, horrifyingly bad start. Horrifyingly, hurryfying. Yes, we are hurryfying. Horrifyingly bad start for us. Uh, Revuelta, I don't even know what's going on here with her. I think it's the suspension letting her down. Maybe a gearbox, because I know Enrique has the, a great gearbox in that car. Um, one might also say that it's quite an epic gearbox she's got in that car. And ever since she got said epic gearbox, she's been doing quite a bit better. Up into ninth, up into eighth, continuing to make passes. We're going to go to two times the speed and continue on. Go down to high and pushing. We're going on a different strategy with Lara than uh, we were last. Oh, she just locked them up. Much different strategy now. I mean, that, I guess that's what happens with low track grip and uh, really pushing it. You lose a little bit of consistency every time you try it. Either way, we are currently abusing these tires. And that may come back to haunt us. So we will actually go down to there, start conserving, the, actually, you know what, leave it on high and conserve the fuel. Now go to medium and conserve the fuel. You go to medium, or er, and conserve the tires. That's the Panther race group, I believe. Up there. Uh, Lara is just out for a Sunday drive now. Whereas where Vuelta is having to drive her ass off just to get back up in here. Right now I think we're almost we are tense we're six seven almost seven seconds away from the points. Alright, we're almost eight. But we're bringing those tire temps back down. And uh you know what? We'll conserve with you two. We're going to go an extra lap on these ultras. And really just hope for the best. Uh, as far as park conditions go, we're looking good. Now we just sit back and wait. A lot of sitting and waiting. And we'll speed it up as well. Everyone kind of just seems to be in the same boat. We're one-fourth of the way done. Oh, no! All right, bring the car in. Fix the rear wing. Make it quick. We'll be last after the pit stop. Oh, my God. Oh, that dick. Oh, that dick. Alright, you come in this lap. No, you come in next lap. This lap. Come in this lap. Pit you in. Attack in. I hate you so much right now, dude. We have 19 laps remaining. All right. Currently battling for 14th. Good overtake there, Lara. Very good. 
Ooh. Looks like 13th is coming in. Come on, Lara. There you go. See what a little bit of pushing gives you. Up into 10th. Push the car a little bit more. Because all of the supers got, super soft guys are coming in now. And we are currently doing well on tire wear with one of our cars at least. Revolta really needs to push that car to get it back into position though. Um, after that horrific her, uh, horrendous accident. It was a horrendous crash. Oh, man. And, um... So I was listening back, and I realized that it, it sounds sort of, um... The, the cadence of my voice. Ooh, Hashimoto had a problem. That's great for us. We're up into seventh. That means we are one position outside of the point. Point points the cadence of my voice anyway as I was saying uh, it sounds either like I'm bored or just not interested half the time and that's not the case uh, I thought I'd I, th I thought I'd mention to you guys it's uh I realize that it, it does definitely sound like I'm just straight up bored and that's not true <laughs> to, to be completely honest it's not true um, I really do enjoy this and that's my thinking voice, for the most part. If you ever hear that cadence in my voice, like, okay, um, okay, we're going to do this, then this, then this. That's where I'm really focused on something. Uh, so that means that I'm really into it. And I hope you guys like that and enjoy it. Because um, I got a lot, of, I have a lot of fun with that. Anyway, we're ahead of Cavalcanti with Lara. We're back up to 14th. We're actually going to pit this time. We've got 11 laps left. Make make it a fast stop. Come on, Red Volta. She's coming in. Yes, she's a lap down, but we're also coming in this lap with you. We're going to make it a balanced stop. Everything looks good there. And we're also running on the default wing configuration here. Like, the default rear wing. Uh, I hope to eventually get it so that we have the same parts at the beginning of the season as we do at the end, and we're just that dominant. But that'll probably be after we've finished with this Let's Play. And we're, uh... Con we've continued onwards with life. Um... <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the, the main reason that I would do something like that would be to, um... Oh, oh geez. Bye, Cavalcanti. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We got seven laps left. Alright. Push it. Push it, girl. Yeah, Rick DeGraff, fast car. We're up into eighth. It's all we could ask, really. Let's bring some heat up into these tires. Your tires look good. Hopefully we can get Revuelta back up into 12th. I don't think we will. But the, be the best we can do with her is what we will do. Um... Yes, she's got issues this race, but we can blame that on the asshole who wrecked her. Or crashed into her and broke her rear wing, to be honest. That's who we can blame that on. Up into sixth with Lara. There we go. We're in the points, folks. For the first time in eons, we are in the points. Bring it down to medium. Push the car a little bit. Screw you, Cavalcanti. We 
We've got three laps left to go. We need to drop that down to medium. And actually conserve these tires. Uh, oops. <laughs> Your rear wing is fine. We will put the engine in high. Mega instability when braking at high speed. Yep, that's your rear wing. Two laps left. Last lap. Come on, bring her home, girl. Bring it home for points for the second time this season. No, 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 no. No! God damn it. Laura. Oh, well, it's a top 10. 18th as well. That's bad. Um, to be honest, that's horrible and we'll have to work on that for next season anywho let's go back to the thing GMA is not going to find anything because we haven't put any risky parts on our car it would be great if we had gotten points but we didn't <laughs> Really good result. Thank you, Maria. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, we will be back next time for some more Motorsport Manager. Thank you for watching. Toodles.